Hi, I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. Ta-da! Stay tuned. This is Kevin Costner, and uh, be sure and uh, watch me on Entertainment and Sports Today, if you would, please. <laughs> okay, stay tuned for Entertainment and Sports Today. Thank you. Awesome event. That's great. Hi, I'm Paula Abdul. Stay t you know who I am. Stay tuned for the top eight next week on So You Think You Can Dance. <laughs> yeah, that's a klutz for you. How does it, how does it feel uh, to be on the other side of the table? Um, you see all these other people dancing, and you're so talented, and uh, you, walk up, um, you see all these other people up there dancing. How does it feel to just literally be on the other side of the table? To be on the other side of the table actually is one of the most inspiring dream jobs for me. Um, I, I get excited every Sunday night. I get giddy. I don't sleep well because I can't wait to show up on Monday and be around that inspiring talent. Um, it's a gift that keeps on giving and, and you know I, I'm so grateful for having had a, and still get to have a career doing what I love to do and starting as a choreographer and getting known like by that trade. Is, has been just the biggest blessing. I feel like if dance wasn't in my life, I don't think I'd ever have the tenacity and the stick to itness that that dancers have. It just does. If dance was in, in your life, we might not all have you in our lives. Too, oh right? gosh! <laughs> oh no! Did I? Oh man! Yes, wait, I think can, my heart just melted just, just a little bit. You just but that's me. true. Paula, what kind of advice would you give the teens out there on uh, their? Hi, you beautiful. <laughs> you. Professional dancer. Are you? Thank you, sweetheart. What's your name? Haley. Haley. Are you training? Like, are you in the middle of training a lot? Um, I'm not a dancer. I'm. You just set me up. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. Teens like her. <laughs> well, well. Okay. She got a hug, okay. Though, now you take yes. to pretend you are. Oh. Okay. <laughs> say you are. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> kidding. No, I. What I say to everyone: um, stay a student. Be, always be curious, and that curiosity will always keep you searching to, to be better and, and have your own personal best. If you keep staying a student and if you keep that curiosity, you have a better chance of mastering you know, a, a career as a professional dancer because it's one of the hardest careers ever. It's not for the weak. It's taxing on your body. Um, it's demanding on on every every fiber of your being and and taking away from quality time with friends and family so it's you have to honor your dream and honoring your dream is staying a student and not not ever stopping the more expansive you become the the, the bigger the breadth of a dancer you are in in learning different genres of dance the better chance you have at excelling in a very difficult competitive business of course I love when the all-stars come in because they they challenge and inspire the contestants to raise their game always because you can only imagine what it's like for a contestant to be dancing with someone went oh my god you were my favorite from season blah 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 mm -hmm. and that that can't can't do anything else but lift your game I always I always say challenge yourself to be better and better and better don't ever get complacent in thinking because you can be around your family and friends and go you are brilliant you're so great you're magnificent and you have to have this part of humility and, and, and gratitude that keeps you grounded to keep wanting to strive to be better I'll tell you what Whoopi had a great time <laughs> she was so inspired and we used to be roommates I'm telling you what? That's crazy. Oh, right. tell us about that that's a, a, a fun fact Fun fact, known her, uh, love her to pieces. She always makes fun of the fact that I had two pugs that she, <laughs> that she couldn't stand. <laughs> I don't know so. why. Maybe because they snorted a lot <laughs> or passed gas. I don't know. The last thing I consider myself is a judge. I, can, I, I, like, I call myself a mentor. And, and I've been a teacher almost like through my, throughout my teens my whole life. And I think that the best gift that I ever get is is fostering 
unbelievable raw and tap talent and and in some way or another help them take flight and I, I've done that and I, I'm really good at at finding these little hidden gems and I get I get so excited when I see them respecting their dream and living out their full potential and yes I do surprise from time to time and I try to do it every season I would go in and show up at, at someone's first concert yeah do you really yep or I'd show up their first show on Broadway or I surprise them at a radio station to just be there for support because I always say always write down your first your first or your first mm-hmm. write down every the first time you hear your song on the radio D- record the first time you're on a stage in front of 10,000 people um, the first time people start recognizing you right journal every one of your first because it's they are your first and there's nothing there's nothing that can compare and it keeps you grounded in gratitude and it's the best gift ever thank you for asking I'm gonna me. go home and write this is the first time I talked to Paula I've oh gosh only the first <laughs> many more to come Paula thank, thank you thank you, thank you. She yes. has a notebook and she just took all your notes as a judge. I'm not kidding. It says Paula's notes, judge notes. But it says judge's notes from American Idol till now. She follows you. She's in her 70s. Oh, yep. my gosh. She loves you. I know. That we, is. We, we say hi, Alice. Uh, Alice. Alice, I'm not going to even say just hi. I'm going to say I absolutely adore and love you. And, and you just, my gosh, I, just, hearing that you've documented my judging notes from the time I was on American Idol just to now it just warms my heart. I've never heard that before. Thank oh, you. Thank you, you're Alice. Welcome. You're the best. Oh, she'll love Mwah. that. She will love it. Thank you so much. You're so God sweet. You. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, dude. How you doing? The expense of travel shouldn't keep you from the things you love. We'll get you where you want to be for as low as $1. Megabus.com provides daily express bus service with free Wi-Fi and power outlets so you can stay connected to the things that matter most. Stay connected. Megabus.com.